Welcome back to the channel everyone. A couple of you have seen this car in one of my last videos. It is, uh, for now, still bone stock. Today is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to try something I've seen online. Where you move the heater controls to where the CD changer is because as you probably seen in the title I'm gonna be putting a little bit bigger radio in here let's get after it so we're gonna have to pull out the surround on the shifter here and then I believe there's a couple bolts behind here and then this will pop off this is not a like a well-known thing to my knowledge but these uh, vehicles with uh, the shift interlock you can turn the ignition to one click ahead just before run and that releases this I didn't even have to push the brake so got that off and back in there and this just uh, that just pops out Unplug your wires back here on your cigarette lighter to get these two units out. It's easiest to use a uh, radio removal tools like these, but you can do it with some small nails. Slip them in there, and these will click when they get where they need to be. And then they pull out and then towards you. These radio connectors in the back, push on the tab there, wiggle them out. antenna wire and this one has a ground of some sort here and then try to pull this thing out Another ground wire. Those ground wires might have something to do with the CD player unit, so they're grounded together. There we go. Oh, there's a screw right here and there's supposed to be one right here. And there, that can come right out. As you can see, this one's broke completely off. Right there. And it probably doesn't even pay to try to fix that because it's all brittle.
That's a little dirty back here. There should just be a few clips that the stuff pops off with. I was struggling a little bit with this, so I went and uh, did it off camera, but basically there's uh, these two pieces. I couldn't get the sheet metal nuts to come off easily so I just left that but this is held in there pretty pretty lightly pop these two knobs off and this uh, little tab here is locked in over here and up here so and then this is this is on like that and there's one screw holding that pop that out and this comes right out so now we have to snake this down to the bottom Jam all these wires up here to keep them out of the way for now. And the cable for the heater control is plenty long enough. Everything, everything appears to be long enough. Once you got everything back into place, you should be able to put your knobs on. And put it down into where, where its new home is. It looks like uh, you gotta adjust the wires a little bit here. Now the stuff I read online says that a lot of guys just leave it like a loose fit there. But I think that's going to like move around. Well, I worked on this area for a while with the soldering iron. It's pretty snug fit in there now. So I'll probably give that a try. Well I did a bunch of messing around off camera with this stuff. I ended up taking the uh, soldering iron, opening up this so the heater controls were a really snug fit in here, slotting the back a little bit so they would come in a, a little bit more flush here. And I got this back into place. Um, I don't want to put too much pressure on this because I think it pop in there and that's going to be a pain dealing with that in the future. I put a little bit of super glue around the edges here. Hopefully that will help hold it in place too. If you're watching this video, please don't steal my radio. Yeah, that's a pretty good fit. This thing doesn't have enough acceleration to uh, make it fall out of there either. So here's my wire harness I have. Well, apparently this one doesn't go in quite far enough to clip. And uh, this one goes on there. Just like that. Well guys, I'm new to these Mustangs. And I plugged into this uh, speaker wire harness. Well, that's for the amp. Kind of figured that. But as what I didn't know, 
is if you go down on the down on the right side in here you can go and get this guy out and you plug that you plug that one in instead of this amped one and then you uh, will bypass the factory amp because uh, the way it was set up through this one I could barely have my radio turned up whatsoever and now this should work how it's supposed to work that's pretty nice that they have that plug back in there I was uh, kinda worried about that setup before I figured that out don't forget your antenna your tuner doesn't work very good when that's not plugged in I'm gonna slip my USB cable out the bottom here plugs in here and I don't need any RCA's on this unit so I'm just gonna throw these in the glove box power connection antenna I went and put my GPS up here just ran it along inside and hooked it up and I got my, my external microphone plugged in got that run up along here works pretty good and uh, slide this on in there Now in this application I'm not going to worry about the empty hole up there. Um, some of the other guys doing this mod where you move your heater controls down here, they'd have a singled in radio in here and then they'd put gauges or something up here so it's really easy to see. But I'm going to be putting a big screen here so going to go and take my Android display here and plug in the connector like that and give these a grab and there we go can't even uh, see the hole and you can see the heater controls pretty good there so they actually work pretty nice right here. They're uh, kind of right at your fingertips. I don't have a uh, backup camera hooked up on this one, but you could also do that. So I did have this one in my excursion. If you want to watch me putting that in, you can uh, click on the thing up here. Um, I did just put a different one in my excursion, a newer model of this. If you want to see that, you can click up here. So one issue with these things is if you want certain apps to start up when you uh, turn on the key, you gotta get like a app manager startup app manager or whatever and sometimes it acts a little funky but it's uh, pretty good for 
what what these things cost they're actually pretty reasonable yeah they're not super high quality or anything like that but you get a video player you get navigation you use it like an android tablet all that so and you can hook up a data card or data dongle in the back and have uh data to this thing all the time but I just tether my phone so that's just a little uh, speed deal that I downloaded it overlays over top of stuff you can do Pandora radio all that stuff on here torque app so if you'd have a bluetooth dongle in here you could uh, monitor uh, your car off the torque app well there you go guys put a 10.1 inch android screen into a single den sn95 mustang slot thanks for watching like share and subscribe take care and god bless you want to run them